essayer, hey! Oh, and guess what? Farley? What's going on? Observe this. Is it really true? Observe the ocean. Which is this? Astonishing clarity in the water. Such locations are uncommon, as you are probably aware. Furthermore, isn't the sun just lovely? Okay, sorry. Which ocean is this? Truth be told, where are you? Guess what? Smiley face. I have no idea. I ask because of this. It seems to me that when I awoke this morning to prepare for work, both you and your mother were already gone. Right. We awoke really early today. Getting up early for where? Not the neighborhood waiting area, that. Not close. To see anything as stunning as this in America, you would need to travel to Hawaii at the very least. Haha, <laughs> this time you guess. This game is starting to bore me. Essayer, relax. Okay, here it is my mom and I are traveling to Hawaii. What? Where are you? I know you're surprised, but me and MOM are in Hawaii, lol. Can you believe this is a resort paradise island for us? Great! Are you crazy? Think about it all. You and your mother-in-law have all gone while I woke up early to prepare breakfast for everyone, but the two of you went on a trip without saying anything to me? Come on, we're fine, we're fine. You don't need to care that much. I just want to have some fun. Okay, so where do you get the money to travel with your mother? Well, you know we're all poor. Do you know anything about the company? You should reconsider because it is said that you are the one who received the embezzled money from your company while I am the person who fully supports you at the company. What do you think about this and even traveling with your mother during this time? Ha ha. I'm really grateful to you. You are really great. What do you say? You throw everything here and act like it's none of your business? On top of that you decided to take your mom with you? This is not an impulsive time to decide to travel with. Mother-in-law for a number of reasons now. We are tired and have had enough of you. Darling, let's go chill, lol. I don't understand what you two are thinking. Wait. You, you used our savings, didn't you? Come on, baby, you're so stressed. Look at the picture of nature and enjoy yourself. You are overworked now. I also saved a very, very long time already. Then I found it in the cupboard and boom. LOL, I'm here with my mom, but I don't know about that bunch of money, love. Are you sure? Come on, take a deep breath and think only of me. You are a saver in the house and all household expenses need you to be able to use it. I can't touch it, you know anyone in the family can touch it. Yes, that's right, because someone in the house has fingerprints I need to limit these. LOL, so what do you think? Did you cheat me? What about you embezzled from your own company? Why are you so petty to me? It's been too long to mention it. And then you dragged your mother to live with us, then the money was almost never enough because you couldn't get a decent job. So where do you get the money to go to Hawaii? You have no income or savings. I can't think of any way that you can pay off all that money except in savings. You won the lottery, right? Unfortunately not. I don't have enough money to do this. But I used another card. What is the other card? So you probably know it. It's on the desk. I used your card. What did you do? You took my card and used it without permission. How dare you do this? I just borrowed a little. I was also going to ask you about this card, but you were sleeping so it was. You know, love. Are you okay? The problem is not that you use the money anymore. You use it without my permission. Why? Is it as important as me? You stole someone's things so that what you like is stealing. Well, it's not someone else's as you say. I said they were a marital relationship. You are the main earner in this house, meaning that the money is us. It is not strange for me to use it. 
The weird thing is that I can't use my own money. Farley, man, look at what you said. And the card password, I never told you this. How can you be so backward? Your face, of course. Didn't take long to search, ha huh? Why didn't I think you were such a good thief? You should be better at keeping your information private. You should commend me for finding this, not blame me. Either way, you're still stealing that money from me. Don't you realize what you're doing is a stupid thing? This is what my mother wanted and told me. Actually, the idea to go this time was that she suggested to me. Did your mother suggest this? Ever since I was fired from my old company and I've been trying to find a part-time job, but it's been hell for me. And you don't understand me at all. You always nag about money with me, making me tired and unmotivated to work. Huh? What are you talking about? Just because of this little money you make me have no weight in the family. I am no longer the head of the family so you are always grumpy with me. You just always keep that money to yourself and spend it what you want. Don't you think you're too much for me and mom? Am I saying this is not true? I can't even remember spending money and doing what I want. It stresses me out with whatever you do, so my mom suggested a trip without you. I deserve it. You are delusional, ah. I don't understand what you are doing and saying anymore now. Hey, don't touch my mom. Your mother, uh uh-huh. She certainly does too, but I mean you, you're stupid to take her word for it. You can't get a new job, stay at home all day, don't you feel useless? You look at yourself, you deserve to be a man, when the pillar is not you, are you stressed, you can't make money, do you deserve stress? You work less than a man? You are abusing and insulting me. Did I say something wrong for you, right? I don't just support you. The same goes for all jobs. But in return is your mother's criticism, your laziness, and your heartlessness for what I have done. If you think you're stressed out over my words, well then drown yourself in the mountain of stress that you and your mother presented to me. You know you're the only one who can do everything. If I were you, I'd take everything. You are stupid and short-sighted to say such things to me using my card without permission. You are so stupid that you don't care who will pay the rent or what's due in the house. Dud? So do you understand why you have to do that? Come on, you're talking too much. Can't you just let it go? I am on my vacation. You're ruining the ride between me and my mom. So who needs to be really angry? Who took that card? Are you really aware of your actions? You are just overdoing it. It's not stealing anything from you. It's simply your joint property. I have the right to use it. You must be happy because this trip relieves my stress. So should I sympathize with your stupidity? What's stupid? If you don't get that, you're not a basic wife at all. What kind of person are you so you ask me to sympathize with a thief? Like I said, we're married. All you have I should have the right to use it, right? Honestly, you should be generous with me. Farley! You are too much. Then. Okay. I've heard that enough. Can you just stop for a minute? I will be back home next Thursday. I'll bring you a present. Have a nice day. Bye. We're not done together, Farley. Okay, bye, see ya. Essayer. Hey, you checked your card. This morning I just went through Famous Cosmetics and saw Dior Cosmetics, so I wanted to give it to my mom, but this damn thing can't be traded. It keeps giving me an error. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you can't use that card anymore. What? Why? I reported to the company to block the credit card. So you won't be able to touch that card anymore. Are you kidding me? Are you crazy or what? I'm using it. Why did you do that? I told you, that credit card is not for you to spend frivolously on your own personal purposes, and it is absurd for you to use it like on vacation. I have locked it because I simply don't use it for that, and you are the one who stole it without my consent and freely used it. Are you serious or something? I need it! We don't bring money here, do you understand it? Apparent. 
I mean you should prepare everything from the beginning. If you don't have money for this vacation from the beginning then you shouldn't do anything. But I don't have money. What I need is your card. I didn't want you to use my card, so I didn't agree in the first place. You do not need to know who these eight cards belong to and how to use them. You only care about your purpose. But, but if you don't unlock the card, we can't book tickets home. Sorry, but I can't handle this either. I remember you coming back next Thursday is Sunday. So you have to book tickets on Wednesday night so you can return on Thursday morning. Why haven't you booked tickets yet? Actually, we were going to return on Wednesday night, but the trip was really good so we would like to have another trip if it is really interesting. So we bought tickets to another location and we were ready for that trip. Well, is everyone having a good time? But I am not. So you want us to go home right away? I don't understand what do you want anymore. But I suggest you walk back is the most suitable. It's not very far. It's about 2,500 miles from California to Hawaii, and I'm guessing you're completely walkable. Are you crazy or what? Open my card now. You are so ridiculous and childish. I don't know who you're talking about, but it has nothing to do with me. Farley, you're using an illegal card. God, I have to tell you a hundred times, you and I are husband and wife. I am qualified to use your card. Don't use the word theft here. Okay. Looks like you don't really understand your problem. I will explain to you that you still marry me, but it does not mean that you have the full right to use my property. Who cares? It's all in common. Someone's interested, Farley. But lawyers and people who know the law understand this. Don't make it such a big deal. You are using that you do not have the right to manage. What do you say? I took it from your pocket and used it for the time being. I think you should double check the name of that card. What the hell is that? Harmony. Smith. Why doesn't this card have your name on it? This is my company accountant's card. I use this card to buy company supplies. So I mistook your card for the company card? I don't understand how you can comfortably use it when the printed invoice is completely different from my name. So why didn't you tell me about this sooner? Are you sure you understand your problem then? I want to show you what you did with the card and act like a thief for the money. Impossible. I am your husband. You can solve this problem. I'm not sure I'm talking about relationships here, Farley. But what you did, I'm sure you understand. All right, I'll talk to your accountant. This was a complete breakdown. I'm not sure if you can email them, but I'm sure you'll get an offer. Why do they do that? Can't they see it as an unwarranted mistake? Farley, I think you're old enough to know your problems, and I've suffered more than enough for all of your problems. I think you should prepare your own excuses. I've supported you time and time again, but you totally don't care it's time you got your lesson back. Hey, wait. Can you apologize to your company for me? And I can return all the money I previously spent. You just need to tell them that you accidentally transferred the wrong amount to me, and I will immediately refund it to you. Why should I do this for you? All right, essayer. It's true that I was wrong to use it without permission, but you can't treat me like that. You are my wife, the head of the family. You have the responsibility to correct our mistakes. We are husband and wife, right? I'm afraid it's not. What? Well, if everything you say makes no sense, then I don't see anything you're aware of your mistake, other than blaming someone else. My company will send a letter as soon as possible. Please explain to them as soon as possible honestly. And I do not want to have a relationship with someone like this. What do you mean by that? I mean, what do you want? Why do you say that? We end here. I can't follow you around all day cleaning up the trash you left for me. Why would you want a divorce to end over such little things? Can you forget about it? I may have used your card, but I will return it right away. Don't you see this is pointless? I don't care about your excuses anymore. I've heard enough of your reasons. You don't need to care or should know why. Not all. Are you trying to trick me? Okay, or let's take it one step at a time. Today I'm willing to listen to your defense. Hey, don't talk like I've always been the wrong one and the guilty one. Okay, not long ago specifically two years ago you had an affair with my best friend. Why did you say you were just mistaken? That's the past, 
Don't dig up the past like that. I agree. A year ago you said you don't have a home to go back to you want to live with me. I happily agree. You bring your mother to live with, it's okay. But the two of you not only don't work, but also make unreasonable demands. You're angry, but this time, why can't you tell me? You'd rather tell me directly at that moment than hold grudges and act like a child like this. Next, do you remember the story last year? The story about you being kicked out of the company for embezzlement of public funds. The recent story must be that you know better than me. How do you do it and where the money is? I don't care. I don't need to know. But the result is that you are not only fired from the company but also without a job. I'm just resting after a long time at work. Why are you overdoing it? No matter how talented I am, someone will accept me. Oh, wow. It's been a year. Farley, can't you see you've been fired for embezzlement? Do you think they will need a talent like you? Honestly, you're the one who has a harder time finding a job than your mother. Sometimes working as part-time waiters even finds it difficult. Why do you suppose I would fear they would fire me for occasionally borrowing a few dollars? Such a horrible work environment. You still haven't given them the money you stole from them back. You should be thankful they didn't file charges against you and just sacked you. It's not like I actually intended to steal or do anything else. They just overreacted since I would have ultimately paid it all back. I wasn't to blame. Farley, most people don't borrow money from the company as much as you do. I should still get a divorce. I'm sick of arguing and listening to excuses that even children won't listen to. Shall we try going back, S. Air? I promise this will be the last time. What do you see? I'm tired of hearing your promises. I'm so tired of your mother who insults me every day, while I work to work with no time off. I also do the housework for all three people. Do you think I naively agree with you? In your dream. Not only her but you, you are the one who criticizes me every day. Whatever you say, I don't need to tell you again. All right, now what do you want? If my mother is right, then I can't support you either. You know this. Your mother does everything you know, and you stay at home with her all day, and you still accept it. Why am I defending you? What she said and did, you use your own eyes to feel that I don't have time and don't have time to listen to you talk so much. Hey, you're insulting me and my mom. You are going too far with your story. Then what? Does telling the truth make you feel so hurt? So who stole my holiday card? Who came up with the idea for it? Think about it. Why don't you repeat your familiar phrase like none of your business or I have the right to share property with you. I feel so stupid for not doing it sooner. I have never regretted the decision I made today. So this is the reason for this, huh? If you drink, don't have a job or try for yourself, I can't follow you forever. My mom said I needed to focus on taking care of myself and reducing stress after being fired. Look who's saying, my dear son, you're so proud, but embezzlement of public funds is so tiring. You need to rest, ha ha ha. She said it's not wrong, but right? My mom was always right, everyone knows that. That's ridiculous. Don't you find yourself too attached to your mother? No matter what I do, my mother. You can't be so selfish, just because I take care of my mom more, don't make me feel awkward. Yeah, you just prioritize your mother's feelings, I have no idea. But when you mess things up, go find a wife that doesn't exist like me, Farley. It's best to find someone you really love, and I can't run after you anymore. Essayer, that's not possible. It won't be okay if you're not here. You have to take me back to California first. Why don't you register for homelessness in Hawaii? You shouldn't be looking for me. Hey, come on. I'm just joking with you. You take me home. I won't do what you say. I'm too angry with you too. I don't want to see you too. Are you right and am I completely wrong? So let me go home. You still don't understand your problem is what you did and your attitude makes it impossible for me to accept. Are you angry just because we enjoyed the holiday without you? Well, you are not only illiterate but also deaf, so you don't understand what I want to tell you. I congratulate you for successfully escaping me. Again, I won't help you again. Come on, honey. I cannot live without you. 
Shall we go home and talk about this later? I don't care. Let me tell you the good news. I have moved to a new apartment. My belongings have also been deposited at the consignment place. You and your mother will come over to receive them. I'm done with the two of you. Goodbye and never see you again. Wait. Why can't you do this? We can't make it without you. Where would we be? Hey, Essayer, Essayer. I blocked him and moved to a new apartment. I also prepared my divorce papers. The procedure will be completed quickly, but we don't have too much common property because before we got married, we had our own property. Therefore, it is very difficult for him to receive a share of the property from me. He paid the full amount after receiving two warning letters from the company attorney because after one week he still refused to pay. He tried to contact me to borrow money but I refused to meet him. He tried to annoy me at work, but fortunately the security guards and police arrived in time to take him away. After that, I don't know the specific situation but he borrowed money from many people and now he has to do the job he hates the most, serving as a waitress. What he hates is feeding him and his mother. Hey, Melissa. How's everything going to Cali? It's going pretty well, Dad. I just finished my first year. That's great to hear. So, what's on your mind today? Well, I wanted to talk to you about my bank account. I have a hometown credit union account that you're a cosigner on, but I've been thinking about switching to a more convenient bank. Oh, really? What happened? Did something go wrong with your credit union account? No, not at all. I actually got a part-time job WHIE at school, and it made me realize that a different bank would be more convenient for me. Hmm, I see. Well, do you want me to co-sign on the new ACC as well? Actali, I was thinking about handling the ACC on my way own. I would like more financial independence. But Melissa, I'm your dad. I just want to help you out and make sure everything is taken care of. I appreciate that, Dad. But I'm an adult now, and I think I can handle my finances on my own. Plus, I don't think the reasons you provided for co-signing are valid. I'm 18 now, legally an adult, and I want to have more financial independence. I don't think it's necessary for you to co-sign on my new account. I can handle my finances on my own. I have a responsibility to ensure your financial well-being. It's not about control, it's about looking out for your best interests. Having a cosigner provides added security and accountability. I get that, Dad, but I've been managing my finances responsibly. I even got a part-time job to support myself. I just want the convenience of a bank that's closer to me and easier to access. I don't think it's necessary for you to be involved in every financial decision I make. Melissa, it's not about wanting to control your every move. It's about ensuring your financial stability and having a safety net. Life can be unpredictable, and having a cosigner can offer you protection and guidance when needed. Plus, if there are any emergencies or unexpected expenses, it's beneficial to have someone who can assist you. Does Dad have anything to hide from you? What are you saying? I understand that emergencies can happen, Dad, but I want to learn to handle those situations on my own. I believe I'm capable of making responsible decisions and managing my own finances. Co-signing on a new account feels like a step backward in my journey towards independence. I want what's best for you, and sometimes that means taking a cautious approach. I'm not trying to hinder your independence, I'm trying to be there for you when you need support. Let's find a middle ground where we can ensure your independence while still having some security measures in place. Dad, I appreciate your concern, but I really want to explore the possibility of having my own account without a cosigner. I want to take responsibility for my own financial decisions and learn from any mistakes that may arise. Can we please try to understand each other's perspectives and find a solution that works for both of us? Melissa, now that you've turned 18 and transitioned to an adult account at the credit union, I think it's important for me to co-sign on the account. I still help you with certain expenses like textbooks, and having my name on the account will make it easier for me to deposit money directly when needed. I appreciate your willingness to help, but I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable with the idea of you co-signing on my credit union account. 
I understand your reasons, but I also want to take more responsibility for managing my own finances and becoming independent. I understand your desire for independence, Melissa, but co-signing on your account is not about controlling your finances. It's about ensuring that I can provide financial support when necessary. I want to be able to help you quickly and efficiently, especially with expenses like textbooks, which can be quite costly. I see where you're coming from, Dad, and I appreciate your intention to support me. However, I feel that having you co-sign on my account may give the impression that I'm not capable of managing my own finances. I've been learning and growing in this area, and I believe I can handle it independently. It's not that I doubt your abilities, but I still want to play a role in assisting you financially. I know you're relatively new to managing your finances, and I want to be there for you as a safety net. Co-signing on the account doesn't mean I don't trust you, it's just an added layer of support. I've been thinking more about our conversation regarding co-signing on your credit union account. After doing some research, I realized that what I told you earlier about the need for co-signing and making deposits was not entirely accurate. Anyone can directly deposit money into your account, and there are other ways for me to provide financial support if necessary. Thank you for acknowledging that, Dad. I also did some research and found that as a co-signer, you would have certain privileges such as the ability to withdraw money from my account and view my transaction history. However, I prefer to have full control over my own finances and not have anyone else involved in those aspects. Okay, but just so you know, I was a little uncomfortable with the idea of you co-signing on my account at first. I understand that, but let me explain my reasoning. As you know, I've been helping you pay for things like textbooks and other expenses while you're in school. And since I'm depositing money into your account, I wanted to make sure that I could do it quickly and easily without any issues. Yeah, I remember you deposited money into my account once last year. I just want to make sure that you have everything you need to succeed in school and beyond. And having a solid financial foundation is a big part of that. Oh, really? What do you mean? It turns out that anyone can directly deposit money into your account, so there's no need for me to be a co-signer or make deposits on your behalf. I see. So what does being a co-signer actually allow you to do? As a co-signer, I would have access to view your transaction history and withdraw money from your account. Additionally, we would both share responsibility in case either of us is in a financial mess. I believe that having an account solely under my name will allow me to take full responsibility for my financial actions and decisions. It will also give me the freedom to manage my finances in a way that aligns with my goals and preferences. Actually, Dad, I appreciate the offer, but I really don't want your name linked to me financially at all. I'm trying to establish my own financial independence. What do you mean? I just want to help you out and make things easier for you. I know, and I appreciate that. But I want to be able to handle my finances on my own. Plus, I'm worried about the potential backlash if I suggest that I'm not financially independent. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't want you to struggle financially either. I used to make a lot more money than I do now, and your mom and I had to supplement our income by withdrawing from our retirement accounts. We're still doing okay, but it's tight. I appreciate your concern, Dad, but I'm actually doing okay financially too. I'm living with you guys over winter and summer breaks, but during the school year I have a part-time job and I'm managing my expenses pretty well. Listen, I wanted to talk to you about something important. We've been supporting you financially for a while now, but the truth is, we can't continue to do that indefinitely. At some point, the money will run out. I understand. And I don't want to be a financial burden on you either. That's good to hear. But there are also some privacy concerns that we need to address. As you know, your mother and I are strict and very religious. We homeschooled you for religious reasons and were accustomed to controlling almost every aspect of your life as a child and a teenager. But now that you're an adult, we need to respect your privacy and autonomy. But I have to be honest with you. I don't feel comfortable living under your roof anymore. I need my own space and independence. The joint account with the credit union on my Mint app, I can view every one of your transactions. I can observe your child's spending, money is not easy to come by. 
and even if you already have your job. But if I watch you, you will learn how to use your money correctly. Yeah, Dad. I've been using it and I can see all the transactions on my Mint app. But I don't want you snooping around unless you have a good reason to. I just want to make sure everything is going well with your finances. I'm not looking to find fault with your purchases, but if I do see something that concerns me, we should talk about it. I appreciate your concern, but I also value my privacy. I have things going on in my personal life that I need to keep private for my own safety right now, and having access to my financial information could jeopardize that safety. I understand that privacy is important, and I'll respect that. However, I also want to make sure that we have open communication about anything that might affect our shared finances. Of course, I want to be transparent about any financial matters that impact us both. But I also want to make sure that my personal privacy is respected. Well, I was hoping we could co-sign on another bank account together. Your mother and I are going through some financial instability right now, and we could really use your help. So this is what parents really mean when they want to share their children's accounts, right? Are you an adult and need help with family matters? I appreciate you coming to me for help, but I'm not sure if I'm comfortable co-signing on another account with you. Can you tell me more about why you need my help with this? It's just that we're struggling to make ends meet right now, and we need some extra support. Plus, having a joint account would make it easier to manage our finances and keep track of everything. I understand where you're coming from, but I've been thinking about my own financial situation lately, and I think it's time for me to start managing my own accounts separately from the family. What do you mean by that? We've always managed our finances as a family. I understand that, but I hope you can also understand where I'm coming from. Maybe we can work on finding a solution that works for both of us, like closing out the credit union account and setting up separate accounts for each of us. Let's stop this here, and not discuss this further. Parents will continue to monitor their children's spending on the current credit card they are using. Dad! Dad, I just checked my account and found that all of my money is missing without any reason. And when I checked my debit card activity, I saw that you withdrew all the money without telling me. Why did you do that? Oh, that's just a normal thing, dear. I need your contribution to support our family. But why didn't you tell me before withdrawing the money? I feel very shocked not knowing why the money disappeared like that. I'm sorry about that, dear. But now you understand, right? We need to contribute money to support the family. I understand that, but I still feel uncomfortable because I wasn't informed beforehand. Of course, I'll try to inform you beforehand about the family's expenses. But currently, our family has plans to take out a loan to buy a house, and we need everyone in the family to contribute money. Under my name? That's correct, dear. We will borrow under your name for convenience in dealing with legal procedures. But of course, when we pay off the debt, I will return this amount to you. I can't agree to this, Dad. This is beyond my ability. I can't keep listening to unreasonable demands from you. I'm an adult. Dad, that's your and Mom's home loan. I'm not responsible for your excessive spending. But you have been provided with funds for education, and now you are not even willing to support the family in this loan. Don't you see how selfish you are? So what about my living expenses that you gave me? You shouldn't be so selfish. I can send money to help pay off the debt, but I cannot have the loan under my name because it could affect my reputation in the future if I am unable to pay it back on time. It will be difficult for me to get a job with a loan under my name. Melissa, you are betraying the family. The family needs your support and you are not agreeing. I understand, but having the loan under my name is not the best solution. I will try to find another way to support the family. I don't believe you. You still don't understand the importance of family, do you? I understand the importance of family and will try to find a way to support them. But I cannot let it affect my reputation in the future. Melissa, I want to ask you a question. Do you think your reputation comes solely from the struggles of your family? I don't understand what you're trying to say. I think you've forgotten the most important thing in life which is family. 
How can you be so selfish and only think about yourself without helping your family when they're in need? Just standing as a guarantor for the debt doesn't mean you have to pay it back, but you refuse to help your family. I'm not being selfish, but I don't want to affect my future career prospects. If I stand as a guarantor for the debt, it could cause negative consequences for my life and career in the future. But don't you understand that family is also part of life and your success depends on their support? I hope you can rethink and consider supporting your family in all circumstances, not just when they need money but also when they need emotional support and care from you. Dad, why are you due to me? Do you want to interfere in my life again? Really? I just want to give you some advice. You live in my house. You are responsible for this. But you interfered with my religion, school choice, and financial decisions just to please mom and you. And now I need money for tuition, but you haven't been supporting me, so I have to work to pay for it. I understand how you feel, but you also need to understand that our family has spent a lot on your education. The money I took is just a small part that you must send back home. But I'll try to manage everything. You shouldn't take all of that money without asking for my opinion. Okay, I understand your opinion. I won't touch that money without asking for your opinion anymore. But I hope you understand that once you turn 18, it's time to give back to the family and pay off debts. I will work hard to pay off the debt and not let you worry about my finances anymore. You are a capable person in the family. We have invested you all the money then you should help us with this. I took a loan of $25,000 and I invested it in a house recently. The plan was to sell it next year if the housing market stabilizes. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned and the money is gone. What? $25,000 is a significant amount. Dad, how could you take such a loan without discussing it with me? This goes beyond my financial capabilities and I can't possibly help you repay such a large sum. I apologize for not discussing it with you beforehand. I thought I was making a wise investment decision, but I underestimated the risks involved. I understand that it's a considerable burden for you, and I'm sorry for putting you in this situation. I have my own expenses and goals, and this unexpected debt will significantly impact my future plans. Can we explore other options or seek professional advice to manage this situation? Dad, don't you think this number is completely unrealistic for a student like me? Dad, let's live in reality, don't invest and receive failures all day long. Come on. I can help my parents with this, but just standing in my name will make it easier to breathe. This is the value you can contribute to this family. Don't scream like that all day. You won't agree to this. Dad can't always go his own way without consulting. This is not fair. I will switch to another consumer card without your presence in this account. What Dad did makes me feel extremely disappointed in what he did. Don't think that if you can do this, you can still use your guardian's rights to limit your finances. Dad, let's stop the conversation here. You've let me down. Melissa. Why did you change to a different payment card without informing me? I can't believe you would take control of your own money like this. Dad, I've had enough. I don't want to be controlled by anyone when it comes to my finances. I need financial independence. I'm just trying to help you, and I request that you use the card I provided for you. It's part of how I support your expenses. No, I don't want to listen to nonsense from you anymore. I refuse, Dad. I don't want to hear any more unreasonable requests from you. I am grown up now and capable of managing my own finances. Don't speak like that, Melissa. This isn't nonsense. I'm your father, and I have a right to look after your finances. I always try to do what's best for the family and help you. I made investments to provide a better life for our family. Dad, you always spend money in the house squandering it. And when you randomly invest, you never get a return on your investments. You always frivolously spend money and make reckless investments without any returns. I'm tired of these actions. I don't want to be controlled by unreliable decisions. How dare you say that? I'm trying to make smart investments for our family's future. That's enough, Melissa. 
I will use my authority as your father to make you listen to me. And I'm saying that I don't want to accept this anymore. You've already listened enough, and I won't let you control my money any longer. I refuse, Dad. I have listened enough, and I won't accept being controlled by you. I need freedom and the right to make my own financial decisions. As your father, I have every right to make sure you're making wise financial decisions. I have listened enough. I need freedom and independence in managing my finances. I won't accept this anymore. I understand that, but I'm an adult now, and I can make my own decisions. I appreciate your concern, but I need to do what's best for me. Fine, if that's how you feel, then I'll have to use my fatherly authority to make you listen to me. Dad, please don't do this. I love our family, but I need to be able to make my own choices. How dare you betray your family and refuse to help it? I won't refuse, but it won't be possible to put the loan in my name and I won't let my dad manipulate my finances now and in the future. I won't let you be at peace if you don't help the family. Ad, I don't want to hear this anymore, and I hope it doesn't ruin my future. You're being selfish, Melissa. We've done so much for you, and now it's your turn to contribute. It's not about being selfish, Dad. I want to focus on my own goals and aspirations. I can't be responsible for fixing all the family's financial issues. We sacrificed a lot for you, and we expect you to help us in return. It's your duty as a family member. I understand that you've made sacrifices, but I also have my own dreams and responsibilities. I can't carry the weight of everyone's financial burdens on my shoulders. Well, I won't stand for this, Melissa. You should prioritize the family's needs over your own desires. Dad, I'm not neglecting the family's needs, but I also need to take care of myself and build a stable future. I hope you can understand that. This is disappointing, Melissa. I thought I raised you to be more responsible and caring towards the family. Dad, I don't want that at all. Dad, please answer me. Dad didn't respond to all my messages. A week later I got a notification about the debt attached, but I refused and they yelled at me a lot. Then my parents cut off all my school fees. Although it was a bit difficult at first, thanks to my friends, I overcame it. But they blocked contact from me. Was this really right what I did? Hi Liz! You look a little haggard! Is that because of my wedding with Dawn? Ha ha! I wish you're not too depressed or anything. If you were then I might feel so bad because your husband now is my husband. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. What do you want? There is no reason why you come here to see me. We're not that close. Oh, I just want to check up your status. Are you happy or pissed? I guess you're alive. You crack me up, Lisa. You're ineligible for driving me crazy. I just want to notice you that I and Dawn will have wedding ceremony next month. Cut the crap, sweetie. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. It's one month to the day you marry. Haha, <laughs> I didn't want you finding out that new from someone else. I think it's common courtesy to let you know myself. We've been friends for ten years. And I considered you as my sister. Sister? Do you have any problem with your brain? Who is your sister? You slept with my husband, lied to my face, and now you're trying to take my assets. So you call me sister? What is your definition about sister? Is it a person who having an affair behind each other back? Is that how you treat your real sister? I don't want anything to do with you anymore. I don't want to hear anything about you and my husband. Don't ever say that we're sister or best friend. It's hilarious. Ex-husband. Please speak the right word. You and Don divorced so you can call him husband. He's mine. Whatever. I don't care about you and Don anymore. Don't tease me if you want to live in peace. If not, 
You can't imagine what I will do to ruin both you and Don Lisa. I will treat people like the way they treat me. Oh, Pooh! Are you still angry at me? I thought you would be over him at the present. It's really not good for you to keep a grudge. It's not good for your heart and mind. Thank for caring about my mental health, but you're the Groot of all problem. Stop playing innocent and get out of my face, Lisa. I'm getting over everything that doesn't mean I forgot what you and Don have done. Liz, come on, don't give me that cold shoulder. We went through so much together. There is no secret between us, we will be friend forever. Even we used to exchange clothes. Sometimes, you took my things and I took yours. So that it's okay for me to marry your ex-husband, right? I hope that you will come to our wedding. Lisa, you didn't understand anything I told you. You had an affair with my husband and you have the audacity to invite me to your wedding? How crude up are you? You're who didn't understand anything, Liz. I didn't steal Don, you know, he loves me. When we were in high school, I met Don first. Do you remember? You're in another class, at that time we still friend. I and Don were tablemate and then I introduced him to you. Don said that he had strong feeling of affection for me. But that time I already had a boyfriend so he couldn't express. Then he thought that he should have someone to coincide with and the most appreciate person is you. What? Why didn't him told that with me? Why you are the one that tell me the truth, not him. Liz, I know you're feeling now, but you have to calm down to listen all the truth. When you have a baby with Don, he was very regret, but being a man, he can't reject it. But after you lost the baby, he thought that is extrication for this loveless marriage. What a childish man. He acted like he truly loves me. He was very sad when we lost our child. Did it all his performance? No, Liz, he is not that kind of person. He loves the baby is real, so he decide to marry you despite he doesn't love you. But when bad thing come, he thought it a chance for him to start a new beginning. I'm too stupid, right? I didn't know the truth and then blamed all guilty to you. He was the one who decided to leave you and be with me. It was his choice. Besides, everyone deserves to be happy, right? I want all my friends' a and family to know that I am happily getting married. We were married. We were husband and wife. It's wrong to sleep with someone else's husband. You just don't do that. Yes, I have to say sorry to you. And all I focus on is that Joe and I love each other and we belong together. Besides, I don't need anyone judging me whether I'm right or wrong. I made my deck ice in and I am very happy with it. Well, we've already decided on a venue. I already sent you an invitation. You will probably get it by tomorrow, so make sure you check it. You still decide to invite me? It's going to be just beautiful. I can't wait. I am so excited. Look at you. How efficient and considerate. Is it even legal to get remarried that quickly? Yes. It wasn't a problem at all. Thank to you. So I hope you can make it. I mean, you're coming, right? Are you kidding me? Why should I come to the wedding of the one who treat and hurt me? You have to accept the truth and understand that he wasn't really in love with you. The very first time I met Don, I knew we were destined to be together. Our eyes clicked and everything was so natural just as it was meant to be. Did you know that Don was really lonely all that time? I'm glad you let him go free. He is in such a better place now. All this time, I was blaming myself for our fallout. But I'm for certain it wasn't me. I'm just angry I had to waste a year of my life. Yes, we are. I'm just saying.
It's not going to be easy for you to find a partner. I remember you used to binge eat every time you broke up with your boyfriend. Just because Joe's not around anymore, that shouldn't give you any reason to slack off. No, I am not. I just can't believe you said that. And I won't come to your wedding. Don't looking forward for it. Please don't contact me anymore. Good luck and goodbye. Hi, Liz. Why don't you come to my wedding? I'm sorry to suddenly reach out to you like this. Hi, Don. Why are you here? I think I have to talk face to face with you. I was really sad and felt guilty to hear you didn't camera to our wedding. I was hoping you could come and celebrate this happy day together. Um, has Lisa told you anything? She said she sent you the wedding invitation but you declined. She said she doesn't know why you won't come. If you two are fighting and if it's something that can be fixed. I was hoping you can make amends and forgive us. It would mean so much to us if you can do it for us. Um. Dawn, I think you're missing a lot of context about this situation. Lisa, tell me all the truth that you felt relieved when we lost our baby. I can't go through it. I felt very guilty to our baby. You think it is an obstacle and it forced you to marry me. I'm so disappointed when I hear that. You didn't love me. Liz. Don't think by that negative way. I never thought and want that bad thing happen. I never ever wanted our baby got lost. When I heard you pregnant, I was very delighted and hoped to build a small family with you. When we live together, love can appear any time. But there's unlucky situation came to our child. In that time I'm very anguished. I knew that I didn't love you, just married you because of the baby. So I think we won't happy if we continue together. Even now I struggle to describe the aguish that we felt. Is that true? Yes, I swear all I have told you is the truth. We should free each other. I found my love, that's Lisa. And we've been very happy together. And I think you show off left the past and move forward. You can find the one who loves you and take care of you all your life. Yes, I can left and go on my own way. But I can't forgive Lisa. Liz, I choose her and I am the one who decides to divorce. Stop blaming the Lisa. No, you shouldn't think I am that kind of petty person. Lisa has betrayed me. She took all my assets and invest all my saving money to the company. What are you saying? Saving money? Yes, when we were best friend, we have created a fund for travel. We will use it when we are older to relax. But she took all mine. I can't believe Liz has betrayed you. That's the thing. Lisa doesn't think much of it. She definitely doesn't think she betrayed me. At least that's not the impression I got from her. Did she apologize to you? I hope she had her reasons and explained them to you. No way. You knew her. She apologized, but it's not honest. At first I was so angry that I thought of suing them. But I didn't. The process is just too emotionally draining. Lisa may have you, but she can't take everything I've worked for. I won't let her ruin me completely. I'm sorry, Liz. I don't know what she v done behind your back. I'm sorry, Dawn, but I can't forgive Lisa. Starting a new life shouldn't involve taking my possessions and leaving me with nothing. I understand that this is a difficult situation, but we need to find a solution that works for all of us. Dwelling on the past won't help any of us. We need to find a way to coexist peacefully. I can't change the past, but I want us to find a way to co-parent, support each other, and eventually find happiness again. Happiness? You think I can ever be happy knowing that my best friend betrayed me and stole my husband? I know it, it's hard to imagine now, but time has a way to healing wounds. 
we can find happiness in our separate ways. Separate ways? She's still there, trying to take my possessions. Liz, calm down. Let's sit down and talk about possessions. We can find a way to divide them and ensure that both of you D have what we need. So what is your solution? I understand that forgiveness may take time, and I'm willing to give you that time. I'll consider it, but know that I won't make it easy. Both of you have hurt me in ways I never thought possible. I regret the pain I've my wife have caused you, Liz. I hope that with time, we can find a way to heal and find our own paths to happiness. We'll see, Dawn. We'll see if there's any chance for redemption all of this. All your money that Lisa has take away, I will bring it back to you. Now, I am her husband so I have to responsible for fix the mistake that she made. I'll send it to your bank account when I earn enough. And about the story of us, I think you should left everything and move on. Living in the past won't help you to develop A and D mature. Thank for your recommendation. Thank you for listening to me and help me to find the solution. I will move my home and also my work. Come to a new city may make a new beginning. That's a good idea. I hope you happy but not the way you were with me. Thank you. I hope you happy with your choice. Goodbye, Liz. Thank for everything.